not too good uh, news here, you know, as um, a husband catches his pregnant wife, you know, with another man in his matrimonial home, on his matrimonial bed. Um, it's sad. It's making the round. The video is uh, all over the place. The video already attracted more than one million views within a very short uh, time it was posted. But it's so sad. Who is to blame? Now, this is Serious Matters on Onif TV. Thank you for always watching. My name is Olukun Abraham. And of course, we talk about matters that make the round. And so this is just one of them as man catches his wife, pregnant wife. And when you see that video, you must have seen the video. I don't want to put that here. You know, when you see the video, she's not invisibly pregnant. You know, pregnancies have stages, but she is visibly pregnant, like heavily pregnant. And so caught in matrimonial bed, um, um, husband, I um, mean, house with a man she called her pastor. And with the arrangement on the ground, it was, you know, it looks like, um, you know, all these arranged spirituals, whatever, whatever that they do with candle lights all over the place. And uh, it's so sad. It's so sad that, you know, some women just keep bringing shame to the body of womanhood. They just keep messing up great women outside there, great young men, young ladies outside there. There are wonderful women outside there, no doubt. Unfortunately, you know, I, I saw one of the comments I saw was so, was so, was so degrading. You know, we are talking of something so messy and somebody is saying if it was a man that did the same thing now. No, we are not talking of just a woman, apart from the fact that she's a married woman. Apart from the fact that she's a married woman. She's heavily pregnant. Now, the question that comes to mind straight away, even if that man is the owner of the, of the photos in her womb, how does she prove that now? Will they, will they be willing, will they be patient enough to get to do DNA at all? I, I, some men are something else. Oh. You know, fear your head. Let me say this. I saw this in the Bible. Uh, I, 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 should have, I should give it to you directly. And I'll paraphrase. He said, Going after another man's wife is like scooping fire into your bosom and expecting not to get burnt. That means every married woman has what the Yorubas call magu on her. It's a divine magu that any man that touches her scoops fire into his bosom. Now, you might not like this, but I want you men to desist from this. Please do. It might look funny initially. You might, you might have gotten away with some of them, but you actually didn't get away. You actually didn't get away. It has its repercussions. It has its consequences. You had better stop now. And you see, for women who, you know, I, I, you know, I, I try to analyze this whole thing. Do you know that young lady could have been tricked? You know where she, maybe the kind of friends that she keeps and all of that. You know that they could have, you could have been tricked as ah, the kind of the baby you have. Oh, you need a spiritualist to come and do this and come and do that and come and do this and one thing led to the other and they, they, they were naked and they just got to do business. Do you, do you, I don't know if you think it's in different directions. I'm not saying that what happened did not happen. But do you know that the lady could have been tricked? But how does she prove her innocence? I'm looking at it from different perspectives. I've seen the number of views online. I've seen different comments. And I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. Apart from the fact that you are married, you are heavily pregnant, and another man is sleeping with you again with that pregnancy, you get mind, oh. And this man, you get mind too. No 
wonder some of you, you just fall down and you die one day. Then one people just wonder what happened to him. Eh? My advice at this point, though I don't know how to say the man, the husband should heal, you get healed. I just pray that he can get healed. You understand? Because I, I don't know how, how easy that would be for him to stay in the same house or I mean look at the comfort of the room. You know that this is not this is not and just anybody. He's doing well for himself. The house is beautiful. And yet he still has that nonsense going on around him. And so that's his own case. It's so unfortunate. But the woman, what do we say? How do you prove your innocence here? What do you have to explain? Because one of the things that people say when they are caught red and they're like, they say, I can explain, I can explain. I can explain. And one of the questions that came to my mind while I watched that video was, uh, why, why was she running towards the man? You want to go and hug him to say, you are sorry or get him to do something to you so that you fall down and then they will change the whole story. God forbid bad thing. You know, it's so sad. Well, I, I, I leave the platform for you. Please do drop your comment. Make them simple and stable. It, it, it's sad. It's sad. And I think we should desist from all this nonsense. It's sad. It's sad. You know, poor so married women all around the place. She's already who? Yes, she might look beautiful. She might look okay. But he's so with this wife. She's taken. She's taken. And that's enough to put you off. Unfortunately, you just still want to put your head in it. You just still want to. And those of you who are who are desecrating the altar, you will have yourself to blame. You keep desecrating the altar in the name of you see, in the, in the name of a pastor. What type of pastor is this one? You are not a pastor. No, 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 no. You are not a pastor. Go and check Timothy and look at what the description of a pastor is. You are not. You are not. So don't. Don't mess it. Don't mess the fold up. Don't mess the fold up. If you're going to mess yourself up, mess yourself up neutrally. Don't mess yourself up in the name of a pastor. If you are going to go there, you will have gone there as a ritualist. You should have gone there as a ritualist. And I believe there are there are even there are there are spiritualists who are so decent. They don't do all this nonsense. They are so truthful with what they do. It's unfortunate. So unfortunate. Now, 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 you can imagine, you can imagine this child, the child in that womb, God sparing your life, help you deliver safely, that child will be born. And you know this video is online for life. Titi Lai Lai. Eh? One day, one day, your child, that child will go to school, they will fight, they will fight with his neighbor. They say, you, you don't we really know you. Have we not heard your story? I say, what did I do? He said, nothing. Your mother. Pum, 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 pum. Internet go bring him out. Naked. God have mercy. Please drop your comment, make them simple and say, well, this is a very sad one and not too good. Not something that um, anyone should, um, should applaud in any way. Thank you very much for watching. Um, well, share with others so that we can all share our opinions on this particular matter. God bless you. Bye-bye.